Hello everyone. Now on this channel, of course, I try to share uh, useful things when it comes to using open source tools, utilities, and of course using Linux and ThinkPad. And of course, from time to time, I also share uh, things that haven't really been working great for me. And one such thing is a Bluetooth mouse. Now, maybe it is just me and uh, you may have a solution for that or you, you may have like slightly different configurations. Now I use a uh, Arch Linux ThinkPad T14. And uh, of course, you know, these days we have, it is very common to get a Bluetooth mouse and uh, or to use a Bluetooth mouse. In fact, uh, I have been using Bluetooth mouses for a long time, but my preference has always been, my priority is always a wired connections. Now for uh, Bluetooth mouse, what I do, I use uh, this uh, utility, by the way, it will, if you're using uh, Marshall Linux, and if you have a laptop with uh, Bluetooth, then uh, you have to, it won't really work. Uh, you have to turn the Bluetooth on and, you know, figure out things. Now there is a package called Blues and Blues hyphen utils. So this package is great along with the uh, so basically when you install the package, you basically have, uh, you will get the service called Bluetooth. You start it and then you enable it. Now the thing is that when you are running this uh, utility, your, uh, uh, I mean, you have to of course you now do some configurations, like you have to power on and make it discoverable. Then you can uh, enable your, or basically turn on your mouse and then you can try to list your uh, available Bluetooth devices in, in, in of course, the, the range. And when you run Bluetooth CTL, like Bluetooth CTL list, it will list the mouse for you. Now, the thing is that this thing works perfectly when you are uh, doing the pairing. Like, let us say you have done the pairing and uh, you connect to the mouse, it works. But every time I have to disconnect my mouse and do this again. So it is annoying. Ideally, if I have the service which is running, in the background, let us say I'm, I'm, I'm running this service in the background, or maybe uh, the way it should work is I should run the service. And uh, if the if the Bluetooth mouse is on, then it should connect. That is how it should work. I mean, that would be my expectation. And it it doesn't really work all the time. So that is it's a bit, uh, it is a bit uh, not reliable. And maybe it is just my configurations. I, I don't know. So basically what I need to do, I just need to first uh, cancel the pairing and then uh, pair it again. And that I'm not really sure if I can do that uh, easily, uh, automatically. Maybe I can write a script that will, whenever I run the script, it will first uh, start the service. Then it will first find the Bluetooth mouse, connect to it. And then whenever I uh run the scripts again it will disconnect but it is i'm, I'm not really sure if it's if, if it is the right way of doing it i don't know how, i don't know how it works for you for example i have wi-fi wi right now wi-fi works right the moment i turn on my computer it works because i have the network uh, manager running and uh NM, nmcli i guess yeah and that takes care of these things and and i think that should also work my expectation would be to uh, have Bluetooth behave in the in a similar way, but it's okay. It's not a big problem. I just wanted to update you. And to be honest, what I normally do, I just I use a mouse like this uh, with a dongle. Uh, I mean, my my preference is always um, wired, if if possible. But uh, I have you know few mouses always. For example, this one is uh, a Bluetooth mouse with a dongle, and uh, I also have like a like one more mouse they're all i think for some reason logitech i don't know why but um this is what i do i basically use a wired mouse or mouse with a dongle so i, I don't have to worry about these things at all but it's a it is a bit annoying and uh, i'm not really saying i'll i'll, I'll give it I'll, I'll give up i'll of course you know give you an update if i have uh, a better way to deal with the situation i i had a similar issue with the i mean not really related but remember I made a video on connecting your DSLR 
and uh, for that you of course have to run a script in the background but that also required for me to remove everything and start again basically you have to create like a virtual virtual cam and i had to do it every time but that was i basically wrote a small script for that and whenever i disk or basically whenever i try to connect my camera again i run the script and that script would basically remove the virtual cam and then create one again and then run scripts like ffmpeg script um uh, and that was of course a work around i don't really although i i thought of doing doing that like connecting my webcam but it's a pain you know i, I don't really have a i already have like a lot of stuff in my room and i don't really want to have one more tripod with a cam big camera in front of me um and uh, when you're using a proper dslr camera you have to of course you know worry about the battery although i have one more camera which is which can be powered by um uh, by usb but not my canon 200d all right that is it coming back to the bluetooth mouses all right that is that is all i wanted to share wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye